Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a what I spend in a week video as a 23 year old living in Washington DC. I was re-watching some of my older videos and it's so crazy to me how much my lifestyle has changed in the past year living here and just getting a little bit more settled. So I wanted to film an updated version of this video. I've been really lucky to have a more financially abundant year this year than last and to be super honest it's not like i'm making a significant amount more than i was making this time last year but i think the difference that i am making has allowed a lot more comfortable of a lifestyle for me i realized the other day while grocery shopping that i wasn't adding up the totals of everything on my calculator app to make sure that i was staying in budget and that was such a freeing and humbling feeling to realize I was just walking around the grocery store and if I wanted something I'd put it in my cart because I knew that I would have the money to pay for it I guess and I realized that I'm a lot more comfortable going out and getting drinks with friends and being able to pick up the tab or treating my friends for coffee here and there you know things like that that I've always wanted to be able to do but I haven't necessarily been in the financial position to do so so it was really interesting for me to look back on that and just reflect on how much has changed in the last year so i wanted to go ahead and film an updated one so that a year from now i could kind of have this to look back on as well i'm pretty much following the same disclaimers that i used in my last couple of videos but quickly going over those again first i'm not including rent i've talked about that so many times on my channel if you're curious you can go dig and find it um i pay my rent on the first of the month i film this video from like the 17th to the 23rd or something like that so all of my rent for the month had already been paid off second i didn't include any reimbursable expenses from work just because i'll submit those and get them back in full so it's not truly an expense in my opinion and lastly i have always kind of monitored my finances pretty closely i know when this trend was first going around a lot of people were shocked at how much they spend in a week and that's never been something that's been shocking to me because i've always written down my finances and i know i've touched on this a couple times now so i don't want to ramble too long but i do have a video on how i budget and log on my finances track everything so if you're interested in that i will have that link down below as well but let's jump into my week of spending the first day that i wrote down was saturday october 17th and the first expense of the day was 10.59 for spotify this is something that i use every single day ten dollars a month feels very reasonable to me i feel like i touched on this in my other what i spend in a week videos but my weekends always carry the bulk of my expenses just because that's when i have the most free time to be social and go out and do things explore the city obviously with covid that looks very different this year and even looks different this month than it did four months ago cases in dc are pretty controlled minus the little like white house incident but i at this point feel pretty safe going outside and meeting friends at bars if they are following social distancing and contract tracing so just keep that in mind i have no ubers this week which normally without corona i would have at least like four or five i feel like this saturday morning i started out the day by getting coffee with my friend emma we went to east west in arlington and i just got a latte which was somehow seven dollars and 32 cents which i feel like is a lot i definitely tipped but even with tip that still feels very expensive to me but that's what i paid but i always love getting to catch up with her and they have a ton of outdoor seating like i said so that was good and then on my way home i stopped for gas because it's much cheaper in virginia than in dc so i filled up my tank for 19 dollars and two cents and then the rest of my afternoon was pretty relaxing i just came home and did some stuff around the apartment cleaned a little bit did laundry repotted some plants and then later that night i met up with my friend sydney at a bar outside and we got a few rounds of drinks and an appetizer to split which ended up being 33 dollars for my portion again this is something that this time last year i feel like i would have only gotten one drink and passed on an appetizer to save a couple of dollars but it was so nice to just be able to sit outside and enjoy the weather while we can and i've been on a big pretzel and beer cheese kick so i'm trying to find the best ones in dc so worth it in my opinion but that brought my saturday total to 69.93 that brings us to sunday october 18th again a super chill day at home i made all my meals at home i had coffee at home and basically just spent the entire day working on stuff for my nine to five and youtube like side stuff 
um, and that basically took up the entirety of my day. I did make a Target run that night just because I was out of a couple of random things. I needed shampoo, I needed a refill on my Flamingo razors, some random things for the apartment, a few loose ingredients for some recipes and stuff like that. And that trip cost me $51.52, which was the only money I spent that day making my Sunday total $51.52. Moving on to Monday, October 19th. Um, again, if you watch any of my previous videos, my spending during the work week is pretty minimal. It's usually just coffee, which I know a lot of you have very strong opinions on. I am more than aware that I spend way more than I need to on coffee. I feel like everybody kind of has advice, whether that's clothing or eating out at restaurants or apartment decor, you know, whatever that may be. Mine is coffee. I know that i could cut back on spending on coffee but i don't want to right now so if that's gonna bother you feel free to exit the video i don't 100 percent know what to tell you i also normally pack my lunches for work but i didn't end up grocery shopping this week because i knew i had a little bit busier of a week and had some stuff in the freezer that i knew i would eat if it was the only thing left to eat if that makes sense um, so I ended up going to get a salad for lunch that Monday from Chopped, which was $13.50. And then later in the day, I grabbed my midday coffee from Zeke's. If you watch my work week in my life vlogs, you know the drill. I am obsessed with Zeke's, live, breathe, die Zeke's. My go-to order is a large cold brew with oat milk and a like splash of their vanilla syrup. And that with a tip was $5.60. After work on Monday, I actually drove home to Virginia to vote early. So that took up the entirety of my day and I didn't spend any money doing that because I had just filled up my tank with gas on that Saturday. So that brought my Monday total to $19.10 moving on to Tuesday, October 20th. This was another typical work day for me. There wasn't anything too special to report. Someone has been standing on the street singing for 20 minutes now and it's driving me insane. So I really hope you guys can't hear that. But the next expense of the day was coffee again. My coworker Vanessa and I go to Zeke's pretty much every day and just switch off who pays because that's so much easier than making separate orders every day. So this was my turn to pay. And for our two drinks in the tip, it was 10.78. And then the rest of the workday went by pretty quick. We had a happy hour event on the rooftop of one of our buildings. The weather that day could not have worked out any better. I feel like it was unseasonably warm for DC and beautiful sunset, great vibes. So that was really nice. That didn't cost me anything because it was a company event so my total spend for Tuesday was 10.78 and moving on to Wednesday October 21st that morning I had to drop Leo off at the vet to get neutered and finish up his vaccinations so I dropped him off around 7:45, and then quickly ran across the street to grab coffee on my way into work because like i said i didn't grocery shop so i didn't have any to make in the morning so i just stopped at a duncan and got a medium pumpkin coffee which was 362 and then went into the office for a couple hours to get some work done while i was waiting for leo to be picked up like i said he had to get neutered he had one more shot and then ended up needing a tooth pulled as well so the total vet bill for that was four hundred forty one dollars and ninety cents that was definitely a heftier bill for a wednesday but it was something that needed to happen and i knew he was in good hands i trusted the vet and they had a really reasonable breakdown of the cost so i knew that i wasn't getting ripped off or anything like that so expensive but worth it for him obviously I worked from home the rest of the afternoon just to make sure that he was all good and wasn't licking his stitches or anything like that. Later that night, I grabbed dinner with a friend, but he paid, so next time I'll make sure that I grab the checks so that it evens out. But my Wednesday total was $445.52. Moving on to Thursday, October 22nd. Again, a pretty typical work day. I treated for Zeke's again this day because the day before I forgot to mention this, I ended up going to Potbelly with Vanessa and I forgot that they didn't take Apple Pay. So she paid for my sandwich, I paid for her coffee, evens out. Um, but the coffee this day was 11.64. I was also planning on going to the grocery store Wednesday, but just didn't end up having time for it. So I grabbed lunch from another smaller coffee shop called Dua. Dua is another one of my favorite downtown coffee shops. Everybody that works there is so nice and 
definitely important to support local business whenever you can so the toast was 822 with tip which seems pretty reasonable for a cafe type place in dc and my total for thursday was 1986 and then last but not least we have friday october 23rd classic me at god Zeke's in the morning it was 474 again i know this is something i could definitely cut back on i'm just not really willing to and like i said it's really important to support local business right now if you can and that's what i wanted so i got coffee um i did make a slightly impulsive amazon purchase this day i got a little boot for my hydro flask so that when i put it down on my desk it doesn't make a loud clanking noise a few of my friends have them and they convinced me that i needed one so that was 10 at 22 I'll have it linked down below in case any of you were interested. I think it's a great purchase. The rest of the workday was pretty uneventful. I met up with my friend at Sydney again for drinks that night. We went to Mr. Henry's in Capitol Hill. Super good, great service. Again, a ton of outdoor seating, contact tracing, the whole nine yards. Similar to the weekend before, we got a few rounds and apps to split and I Venmoed her $20 for my portion, which I'm not convinced she did the math right. That seems super low but she swears it's right so i don't know not gonna fight her on it like i said i feel like my friends and i are pretty good about rotating on who pays for what so i'm sure it'll even out down the line and that brought my friday total to 34.96 so if you want to pause the video and guess my overall total for the week now would be the time to do so the total amount that I spent this week was $651.67. The bulk of that definitely coming from Leo's vet bill. If you took out that $440, it's roughly $215 for the week, which I feel like is very reasonable. Um, again, if you've watched any of my other spending or budgeting videos, you might remember that I try to stick to roughly $200 a week. I would say in the last year, I've expanded that a little bit to still have the goal of spending $200 a week, but knowing that I can kind of comfortably spend 300 ish a week. Um, but I definitely try to stick to closer to the 200 side of things just because I am still working on paying down my loans and want to make sure that I'm contributing as much to my 401k and my savings account as possible right now. But besides Leo's vet bill, like I said, I think I stuck to that pretty closely. So I also knew when I adopted Leo that this was something that I was going to have to pay for. So I've been budgeting and saving for it again, just because I knew it was coming up. But that is everything that I spent this week as a 23 year old graphic designer in Washington, DC. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down below, or if you have any video requests for similar videos, I love watching these and think they're so interesting to watch and just helpful to see how other people my age are spending and budgeting their money and all of that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support as usual and i will see you guys next week bye